Now, Robert, I know that people love quotes, and Mastering Life Before It's Too Late is full of quotes, quotable quotes, practical quotes. Tell us about some of those. Can you share some of them with us? I would love to. I collect quotations. People love quotations because it takes the wisdom of the ages and summarizes it into sentences that are pithy or easy to remember, mm -hmm. or sometimes into poems or hymns that we can remember easily by singing or by recitation. For example, the hymnist Anna Waring wrote a poem that I very often quote. It says, I love to think that God appoints my portion day by day. Events of life are in his hands, and I can only say, appoint them in thine own good time and in thine own best way. As it relates to our daily duty and to our future plans, Thomas Carlyle wrote, our main business is not to see what lies dimly at a distance, but to do what lies clearly at hand. That's very good, isn't it? And Ralph Waldo Emerson told us how to live our lives in daytight units. He said, finish each day before you begin the next and interpose a solid wall of sleep between the two. <laughs> One of my favorite quotations is by the French mystic Fenelon, who said, cheered by the presence of God, I will do at each moment without anxiety, according to the strength which he shall give me, the work that his providence assigns me. I will leave the rest without concern. It is not my affair. And about the prudent use of time, Henry Ford said, it has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. A part of Mastering Life deals with the subject of living joyfully, and so let me leave you with this wonderful quote from missionary E. Stanley Jones, who said, when I met Christ, I felt I had swallowed sunshine. <laughs>